is Abrazia. She's got Abrazia. Stay, Gregory. Sure, Mr. Clark would like a minute or two to quiet his thoughts. Anyway, my name's Anderson. Um, this is score. Are you going to school late or coming home early? looking for a goal scorer and that requires two basic skills ball control shooting accuracy and the ability to read the game three things so this trial will allow me to assess these two three basic aspects of your skills right right you defend me then she's gorgeous she is absolutely gorgeous Do it again, same pair. Look, Charlie, we've got to get some girls. We've got to make a move. Even Gregory's at it now. We're falling behind. I don't think there's any advantage of putting it off any longer. Besides, it's making me depressed. Okay, that's simple. Okay. Really easy. <laughs> there are five guys in fifth year crying themselves to sleep over that. Six if you count the music teacher. <laughs> It's not right. It's unnatural. It doesn't even look nice. It's modern, Andy. It's good. Modern girls, modern boys. It's tremendous, look. Edney, that is disgusting. Oh, my God. That's a girl. You're a genius, Robert. You're a genius. Do you know that when you sneeze, it comes out your nose at 100 miles an hour? It's a well-known fact. 100 miles an hour. <coughs> Just like that. Room 16. Hurry up. Ta-da. ta -ra. Here comes my messenger. How now, mad spirit? What night rule now about this haunted grove? I hope you're doing mine for free, Billy. Well, for old time's sake. Give us your glasses and I'll do them as well. <laughs> no charge. Thank you. Cigarette. I had to wait, wash and polish 84 windows for this. That's some job. Took you danger money for that? No, but if I die, my mother gets her windows washed for nothing for 25 years, inside and out. We saw a great thing last week. You know, a nurse up at the hostel. Pit this bum fanny the lot. Oh, I can see that 50 times a day through a window. It's contacts, the thing. Doing it. Have you done it? 11 times. I'll see you guys later, right? See you, Billy. Bye-bye, Madeline. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window, eh? They grow up fast, don't they? Ten years old, with a body of a woman of 13. Richard's my name. Ask Maddie to call me anyway. The name's Madeline. Go on, piss off. <laughs> You'll run out of vices before you're 12 if you don't slow down. I had that dream again last night. That's four nights in a row. That's really good, that. Yeah, hold on. In the dark. What is it? Can I come in? Give us your call, mate. No. I'm on the way, Steve. 
It's off the ground. Romance. It's in there. Hi, pal. Can I have your white jacket? No. Mum and Kelvin, how's business? It's all right. No, the jacket's for later. For the real date. The Doris are going with a rock cake, Steve. But the marzipan almonds don't seem to be a Scottish cup of tea. Tasteless salads. Come on, Steve. You gave Pete the jacket last week. Don't touch that ravioli, it's garbage. Ravioli, please. Here. Let's sweet talk these two, eh? Good afternoon, ladies. Mind if we join you? Would you like to come out with me? OK. When? Tonight. Half past seven at the clock in the plaza. At least he's getting an excuse for being a prick. Well, I'll buy my own chips. You keep telling Joe. It's a fine night for it, eh? You know, there's definitely something in the air tonight, Charlie. Relax. Where are we going? Relax. Enjoy it. I am. I will. It's OK. <clears throat> Would you like to spend some time with me? On a kind of day? We are clinging to the surface of this planet while it spins through space at a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> Held only by the mystery force called gravity. Wow. A lot of people panic when you tell them that and they just fall off. <laughs> but I see you're not falling off. <laughs> that means you've got the hang of it. Off you go, you small boys. <laughs> 